Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snares, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our clinical biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the glycogen storage diseases. We talked about sorbitol and cataracts. We discussed galactosemia and lactose intolerance. We talked about the pancreatic islet cell tumors like insulinoma, gastrinoma, somatostatinoma, glucagonoma, and even VIPoma. Then we talked about cystinuria, cystinosis, homocystinuria, and now it's time for Marfan syndrome. In some aspects, it is similar to homocystinuria. In others, it is way different. That's why you need to pay close attention to the pattern of inheritance and the signs and symptoms. What do you call it when my fingers and toes are very long like this, like a spider? Arachnodactyly. Arachno means spider. Dactyly means digits, which includes finger and toes. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. Marfan syndrome is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, which means one of the parents is affected, the other is unaffected. So let's suppose that this is the mother and this is the father. Can we do the Bennett square, please? Big A, small A, that is affected. Small A, small A, that is normal. Big A, small A, affected. Small A, small A, normal. Half of the offspring are unaffected, i.e. normal. Half of them have the disease, in this case, Marfan syndrome. Recall that in autosomal dominant diseases, the upper case A is the bad gene, but in autosomal recessive diseases, the lower case is the bad one. Normally speaking, on your chromosome 15, there is a lovely gene known as FBN1. Any gene codes for what? Protein. What's the name of the protein? Fibrillin 1 protein. What's the normal function of that normal protein, Fibrillin 1? It has two functions. It sequesters TGF beta, transformational growth factor beta. What do you mean by sequester? Keep it in check, keep it in jail, not in the outside world. And the other function of fibrin 1 is to cover and protect elastin, which is an elastic protein in your connective tissue. All of this was normal. But in Marfan syndrome, there is a problem in the FBN1 gene on chromosome 15, which means fibrin 1 is toast, which means we cannot keep TGF beta in check, and that's why the level of TGF beta will go up because it has left the prison and went to the outside world. And I will be unable to protect elastin, so I have elastin defect. That's why they call it a connective tissue disorder. Moreover, Marfan syndrome can have lens subluxation or dislocation. Subluxation is when the lens is still hanging by a thread, but when the lens is completely dislodged, floating freely, we call this dislocation. And in Marfan syndrome, the dislocation of the lens is upwards and outwards, like this is the lens right now. It has been dislocated upwards and outwards, superiorly and temporally. And this is the exact opposite of homocystinuria, because the lens dislocation in homocystinuria was downwards and inwards, inferiorly and nasally. How do you remember this medicosis? Do you have a mnemonic? Yes, check out my upcoming video titled Marfan Syndrome Mnemonic. You will find it in this clinical biochemistry playlist. In Marfan Syndrome, there is dilatation of the aortic root. When you dilate the aortic root, the cusps will become far away from one another which means the valve will be unable to close when it should be, which means blood is gonna regurgitate, i.e. flow backwards. The purpose of the aortic valve is to prevent the backflow of the aortic blood back into the left ventricle. But when I have aortic regurgitation, i.e. insufficiency, blood is gonna regurgitate back into the left ventricle. Can this give me a murmur? Sure, the murmur of aortic regurgitation, which is a diastolic decrescendo murmur, best heard in the third left intercostal space. Aortic regurgitation usually has a wide pulse pressure, and this can get way worse during pregnancy due to increased plasma volume and blood flow. Remember that pregnancy is one of the causes of a hyperdynamic circulation. And the circulation is already hyperdynamic in cases of aortic regurg. And that's why patients with Marfan syndrome require repeated echocardiography to follow up with the case. 
Let's learn more about Marfan syndrome, autosomal dominant inheritance fashion. Variable expressivity. What does that mean? Some patients have a very mild form of the disease with few symptoms. Other patients have moderate symptoms and others have severe symptoms. It's mild versus severe, which is similar to the French terms coined by the French physician Trousseau, who said there is forme fruste and forme plein. Some patients have the typical classic full-blown picture of the disease with all the symptoms, others have almost no symptoms. Where's the defect? FBN1 gene. On which chromosome? Chromosome 15. Which protein is defective? Fibrillin 1 protein. This will lead to increased TGF beta because it's no longer sequestered and I will no longer be able to protect elastin, so I have an elastin defect. Contrary to popular belief, Marfan syndrome is not a defect in your collagen. It's a defect in your elastin. Big difference. Osteogenesis imperfecta is a collagen defect. Menke's disease is a collagen defect. Scurvy is a collagen defect. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is a collagen defect, but Marfan is not a collagen defect. It's an elastin defect. It's a fibrillin defect. It's a connective tissue disorder, but it's not a collagen defect. Otherwise, you'll have to tell me which type of collagen is defective. Is it type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5, etc.? And the answer is, it's none of these. Signs and symptoms of Marfan syndrome. Chest wall deformities, such as pectus carinatum and pectus excavatum. It could be this or this. What does the word carinatum mean? It means bulging outwards. Why? Because a carina is the keel of the boat. Here is the anteroposterior view of the boat floating on the surface of water and heading towards you. This part of the boat that is emerged downstairs is the keel of the boat, called the carina. So pectus carinatum is bulging outwards. But pectus excavatum is when my chest wall is bulging inwards, as if it has been evacuated or excavated, so it's empty now. Patients with Marfan syndrome are very tall and very thin. Not just the stature is tall, their limbs are tall, and their span exceeds the height. What do I mean by this? Here is my head, and here are my feet, and look at these, these are my arms. If you measure the distance from here to here, and the distance from here to here, in normal people, they should be almost the same. But in Marfan syndrome, the span is greater than the height. And then you can divide the body into two halves, upper half and lower half. And what's the center point? It will be your umbilicus. In normal people, the upper half should equal the lower half in length. Not in Marfan. In Marfan syndrome, the lower body segment is usually taller than the upper body segment. Next, my vertebral column is not straight. It is tilted, scoliosis. They get all kinds of hernias, such as inguinal hernia. Spider-like fingers and toes, arachnodactyly. Dactyly means digits, arachno means arachnida, arachnid, like a spider. What are the name of the three meningeal layers that cover the brain and the spinal cord? We have the dura mater, the arachnoid mater, and pia mater. What's the external one? Dura mater. Ectasia means dilation of the dura mater. This will lead to erosions of the lumbosacral vertebrae. Not good. The skin is hyperelastic, i.e. not very stable. Joints are hyperelastic, i.e. not very stable. Why not? Because I have an elastin defect. My connective tissue is not robust. Lens subluxation, or worse, dislocation, is usually upwards and outwards. This can affect my vision. What else can affect your vision? Retinal detachment and myopia. Short-sightedness. What's the opposite of myopia? Hypermetropia, which is far-sightedness. How do you remember which is which? Look at the word myo. What does myo mean? It means a muscle. Think of your lens as if it was a muscle contracting so strongly that the sight or the object falls in front of the retina. So you get nearsightedness. There is another mnemonic. Myopia is a shorter word than hypermetropia. Therefore, myopia is nearsightedness, but hypermetropia, the long word, is 
farsightedness. Now let's talk about vessels and valves. What happened to the aortic root? It got dilated. When it dilates, the cusps get far away from one another. They cannot close when they should. So I get insufficiency and regurgitation, backflow. Also, aortic dissection can happen. Aortic aneurysm can happen. Why is that? Cystic medial necrosis, because it's a connective tissue disorder due to an elastin defect, because fibrillin 1 is toast and could not protect and surround the elastin. Can the aortic regurgitation cause a murmur? Absolutely. What else can lead to a murmur in these patients? Mitral valve prolapse. Why is it prolapsing? Because the connective tissue support is toast. And when it prolapses, it gives me a murmur similar to mitral regurgitation. However, don't forget to add a click before the murmur. So you get the murmur of aortic regurgitation and the murmur that's similar to mitral regurgitation. So two regurgitation murmurs. Don't forget to add the click. Patients with Marfan are tall and thin. The typical candidate for ruptured apical blebs of the lungs, leading to pew, spontaneous pneumothorax, hyper resonance to chest percussion. However, it's unlikely to have a tracheal shift to the opposite side. Unlike patients with homocystinuria who had intellectual disability, Marfan syndrome patients tend to have normal IQ, i.e. fine intellect. Normal intellect. How can I diagnose Marfan syndrome? history and physical exam, echocardiogram for all of these heart problems, and of course, genetic testing. How can I manage Marfan syndrome? Manage the patient symptomatically. Try to correct each one of these and try to prevent the complications as much as you can. Some of these features might benefit from medical management, such as beta blockers for all of the heart and vessel symptoms, as well as surgical interventions. Why? For these deformities like scoliosis, like hernias, etc. And because my valves are toast, aortic and mitral, I need prophylaxis for infective endocarditis. Patients with Marfan syndrome require routine, repeated echocardiography to check the status of their heart and vessels, especially during pregnancy, because during pregnancy, a soft flow systolic murmur develops, a hyperdynamic circulation exists because of the increased blood volume, which is caused by increased plasma volume. Now, let me answer the questions of the previous video for you. We had a comparison between folate deficiency and vitamin B12 deficiency. Which one has anemia? Both of them. What's going to happen to my red blood cell count, hemoglobin concentration, and hematocrit or packed cell value or volume? All three will decrease in both diseases. Which type of anemia are we talking? Both of them have macrocytic megaloblastic anemia with high MCV in either one. Reticulocytes are low because without folate or vitamin B12, my bone marrow cannot replicate its cells due to lack of DNA synthesis. If I cannot replicate cells, I cannot make red blood cells, anemia. I cannot even make reticulocytes, which are baby red blood cells. So reticulocyte count is low. Both of them can have pancytopenia, which means anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia, not just anemia. Only vitamin B12 deficiency can have neurological symptoms for reasons that we discussed in detail in my video on vitamin B12 deficiency and on my video on homocystinuria. Speaking of homocysteine, it will be elevated in the blood and the urine in either case. However, the methylmalonyl-CoA or methylmalonic acid is only elevated in vitamin B12 deficiency. Again, please refer to my video on vitamin B12 deficiency to know why. Which one is more likely to have achlorhydria? Well, the same disease that is usually associated with autoimmune gastritis or pernicious anemia, so vitamin B12. Which one is more likely to have gastric adenocarcinoma? Vitamin B12, because it affects the stomach, as you see. Serum gastrin will be elevated in some cases of vitamin B12 deficiency. Why? Because when my parietal cells are toast, they are not making intrinsic factor. They are not making HCL. Who's gonna get triggered? Gastrin will go up as a feedback mechanism. How can I manage folate deficiency? Treat the underlying cause, give the patient folate. How do I treat vitamin B12 deficiency? Treat the underlying cause and give the patient vitamin B12. Do you want to learn more about aortic dissection, peripheral arterial disease, 
acute limb ischemia, claudications of the limbs, compartment syndrome, and the Volkmann's contractures, then download my surgery high yield course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. To learn about ARDS, many cardiac arrhythmias, angina, myocardial infarction, ischemic stroke, hemorrhagic stroke, and much more, download my emergency medicine high yield course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Patients with Marfan syndrome may benefit from beta blockers. To learn more about beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, the anti-hyperlipidemics, anti-arrhythmics, anti-anginal, anti-hypertensives, diuretics, and even digoxin, download my cardiac pharmacology course. If you do not want to download my premium courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button, choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.